sixth of the season for Taylor Ward, making a nice transition here to the big leagues as we get ready. Also, let's go down immediately to the Angels clubhouse and Angels manager Mike Susha addressing the media. All right, guys. Um, first, I want to make an announcement. Um, get over here. Come, here. Come next to Tim. He'll, he'll be his bodyguard. Um, I want to make an announcement that I'm going to step down. I will not be returning to manage uh, the Angels next year. Um, and speaking with uh, Anna and our family, um, there's no doubt it's the right rule for me. And I think it's, I think it's um, the right move for the organization. So I've had an incredible 19 years. Um, it's been, um, it's been uh, just awesome. So, uh, first, I want to thank Bill Stone and Bill. He took a chance on me in 1999, and um, I guess the jury's out if it worked or not. But thank you uh, for that opportunity. Uh, you let us do our thing. We appreciated it. And um, thanks for giving me that opportunity. I want to thank, uh, you know, obviously Artie and Carol Moreno. Can't tell you how much they supported us and our family. And I think uh, they made our family part of this angel family. And that is something I will never forget. Um, then giving us the opportunity to stay here for 19 seasons just doesn't happen, guys. So believe me, I don't take that for granted. And I want to thank Artie and Carol, um, you know, for that opportunity. Uh, thank John and Billy. I think, um, you know, their uh, passion for this organization is very strong. Uh, their support is uh, real for, um, for everybody in this organization, and it's been, um, you, know, great, uh, you know, great working with Billy for the last uh, three seasons. Um, you know, there's a lot that goes in uh, to a ball club. I think every manager is always concerned with the environment. I can tell you for 19 seasons, this environment in the clubhouse, on the field, traveling on a plane, um, in, the, in the training room, has been uh, second to none. Hey, you guys, you guys go get ice. You guys are off tomorrow, but go get some ice, please. Um, you know, it's been second to none. Um, you know, from, um, you know, Keith Tarter and the clubhouse crew. Um, go ahead and get that. And that didn't happen pre-game two. Um, from Keith Tarter, the clubhouse crew, uh, Diego and the video crew, Adam and uh, Bernard and the medical staff, um, all the doctors, strength and conditioning guys, um, it's been uh, incredible. Um, coaches um, these guys are would you answer that <laughs> give me the phone I'll talk here let me see who it is is you lost in that? come here give me the phone let me call back okay, we're busy right now the coaches um, you know these guys have become uh, some of our best friends And I can't tell you, um, you know, what they mean to us as angels. Um, I think anybody that... Uh, I'm really happy, guys. I'm sorry, you know, this happened. But um, anybody that came into our organization, I think, knows um, that they were going to have every tool available to them to get better. I'm really proud of, um, you know, the guys I'm afraid of. Uh, do you know these guys have been with us a long time? Um, you know, they were awesome. I want to thank the fans because I don't think guys understand where that sea of red. Um, you know, what it meant to us. Three million strong every year. Um, you know, sometimes we have great seasons, sometimes not so great. 
Okay, that's it. That's it. Give me that, John. Give me that phone. Let me answer that. Is there an iPhone one that doesn't have an off switch? I'm going to run it out. It went to battery out. Um, to see that sea raid every night um, was inspiring to us. And sometimes we never talk about as much as we should, but, you know, Angel fans, don't let anybody sell you short. You guys are passionate. Um, you know the game. And that support was incredible. So um, I definitely got to thank the fans. Um, this game's about the players, not about a manager. It's not about a GM, an owner. Sure, there's a lot of things that are important, but not about the coaches. This game's about the players, and it always will be. And, um, you know, for 19 years, we've had guys that just put it all on the line whether we're going good or going bad. And that's what I'm going to take away. That was so inspiring to me on a personal level to see these guys just go out there and just play the way you should play the game. I'll take away the grit of Darren Erstad, the athleticism of Garrett Anderson, the presence of Tim Salmon, the heart and soul of Benjamin Molina, Eckstein, and Kennedy. The competitiveness of Jared Washburn, Jared Weaver, who was the ultimate competitor, and John Lackey, these guys were tremendous, just tremendous on the mound. The fearlessness of Sean Figgins and Eric Ibar, the talent of Howie Kendrick. These guys are special. These guys are special. The phenomenon of Tory Hunter, that's the only way I can explain it. It's a phenomenon. You had to be around Tory. So much fun to watch him play. But you got to see him everywhere else. He was incredible. And you move forward now to so many guys, um, you know, now that we have that are so important to us. You know, the talent of Justin Upton and Andrelton Simmons. Uh, the hard nosed play of Cole Calhoun. And now you look at you look at guys like Mike uh, Trout. Um, you know, Albert Pujols and Vlad Guerrero, who will be Hall of Famers with an angel cap on. Can't tell you how much of a privilege it was, you know, to be around them. The thing that I'm going to take away is, as good of players as everybody saw they are, and they're the elite players on this planet, these guys are even better people. And that makes us all proud to come and see guys grow from when they get here to be the type of person that we would want and instill the things that we want to put in our own kids. And that's uh, something that's really uh, special to me, to see them. And now you get in, you'll get a, a young kid like Shohei Otani comes in from a different country. I know the fans appreciate everything, but you have to see how hard these guys work. You have to see what they do back there. And that's why I say this game will always be about the players. It's not anything that I've done. It's not anything that Billy or John or Artie has done. There's no way that you look at the wins that we've been able to put up here in 19 years and it doesn't point to anything but the players. And that's what I'll take away from this experience. It's been incredible.